Hey, Cluminati, what's the most frustrating part about YouTube? Probably when you point something out and people only hear half of it, but then try to make a whole video out of what you said. Well, like my grandma used to say, if you're not first, you're last. God right. If you're going to snoop for a scoop, at least pay the f attention. I love how when we go live, we like talk about the greatest stuff and then some bloke comes along and tries to be like, wah, wah, wah. nothing to this. Well, again, pay attention. Watch and listen to the entire thing and you won't wind up looking like a fucking idiot. But then again, maybe you will. It might just be something about your face, not your actual brain. So as I stated in one of the lives, we have the mystery man on Linda Lane and everybody's, oh, he's not putting something in the trash. Oh, he's not getting something out of the trash. Arr, 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 arr. Shut the fuck up. That is not the important part of this scene. Since people need diagrams, I'll give you one. The path of travel down Linda Lane. The red arrow represents the dumpster. Oh boy then walks up the hill towards Linda Lane Apartments. Oh no he didn't. He's then going to travel behind the fence we see in the security camera. But when he gets to the end of that fence, he runs past Queen Road Apartments. The fuck are you running for, bruh? I'm just going to shut up and let it play. Now, if we think about the original time frame between 3 and 4 a.m., does this fit? It was about 3.14 a.m. in the morning. Now, let's go back to this 4chan post real quick. One of them. Bruh, you can see the King Road house from David Sigma Chi room. Once that third floor light turned off, they did it. I would have to say that statement is factual. That is a complete view of the third floor of the King Road house. 19 minutes total, walk included. So even taking the long way around on Google, it's an 11 minute walk. But mind you, all they really had to do was walk across the banfield. Cutting across the banfield, it would probably take you about five minutes to get to that house. So I want to look at this statement. The King Road residence contained a significant amount of blood from the victims, including spatter and cast off, blood stain pattern resulting from blood drops released from object due to its motion, which based on my training, makes it likely that this evidence was transferred to Koberger's person, clothing, or shoes. So for me, the question is, what happens when this is not the case. Did you guys bother to investigate anybody else and look for blood anywhere else other than Koberger's office, apartment, car, or parents' house? In my opinion, what y'all got don't amount to a hill of beans. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Ten.